Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. I apologize for the delay in getting your readings out. I've been battling with some severe uh, allergic reactions to an unknown something for the last week or so and it in the last three or four days, it got really bad, mostly with my eyes. <laughs> you can't really see because of the glare, and I'm glad because my eyes are swollen and red and puffy still. But I could not just sit back. I had a cough drop in my mouth. Could not just sit back and not finish the weekly reading. So without further ado, mm, excuse me. We are going to get into your reading for Sun, Moon, or Rising in the sign of Sagittarius. All right. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story if it's not resonating for you. Check with your Moon or Rising sign, or keep it in your back pocket, because I typically do read into our blind spots. Our subconscious areas that we're not conscious to all the time but when it is brought into the light of consciousness it certainly can help get us out of stuck situations or learn the lesson that we're meant to learn or understand so let's see what comes through for you Sagittarius what do we have for Sagittarius and I just got a really beautiful sensation in my heart chakra <laughs> I've been getting those um, since yesterday. I want to say since the sun moved into Pisces, but I think it was even before or just before that. We have a new moon in Pisces this evening. That's too many. Let's see what came out though. Forgiveness, grief, love, and surrender. Keep those in our back pocket, huh? Um, where was I? <laughs> oh, the energy, yeah. Quite the mixed bag, but there is a lot of beautiful spiritual energy and dreamy Piscean energy. So, it is a great time to use your imagination to manifest something that you desire for the new moon cycle. So, let's see what comes through for you, Sagittarius. Try again. First card, we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yes. We are all in each other's lives for one main reason, and it is to teach each other certain things that we can't see within ourselves. But it's also for love and um, you know, connectedness and all of those beautiful things as well. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you may have had a falling out or there's something that <laughs> requires you to let go of and forgive when it comes to another, a friend, Failure at the bottom here and doubt. I release the need to know all of the answers. Okay, Sag. So you may be quite intuitive. You may have already picked up on a lot of things, but there are still things that you don't know, especially when it pertains to another. But um, let go of that. Know that this person is in your life for a very important reason. And let go of any resentment that you may still be holding on to. Any fear, any doubt, any worry. Um, and failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Adversity below that. So again, this person, this connection is really teaching you about yourself 
but also teaching you um, about love, about true unconditional love. Okay, get a couple more cards before we go into the tarot for Sagittarius. Maybe you feel like you've failed somebody, but you haven't. There's, there are still unknowns. There are still things that have not been revealed to you quite yet. You're, you're probably trying to make up the rest of that story, but don't. Don't. Your mind's going to do that anyway. Just don't listen to it. It's important to forgive. Okay, so this person has a lot to do with your self-expression, and maybe you were more closed or reserved or shy or... You know, didn't feel like anybody understood you, so you just kind of kept everything to yourself. But when you met this person, it really assisted you in expanding that and, and expressing yourself, all of yourself, in a safe place. A beautiful, safe place to express yourself, for the most part. That may have gone awry eventually with, um, with the forgiveness card. There may have been something that triggered something in you. I'm hearing jealousy, envy, competition, intuition. Ah, this person may have had you question your own intuition. Whatever it is, Sagittarius, it's important to forgive. Let go of that. It was a lesson for you. It was not intended to actually hurt you. Collaboration. I released the need to know all the answers. And this is somebody that, that works in harmony with you typically or has the energy, holds the energy that is possible to collaborate with and, and create some beautiful, amazing things and experiences in this world. Magic. Mm -hmm. Maybe that didn't fully come together yet because you both had some lessons, taught each other some lessons and had some big life lessons to learn. Um, but don't think that this is a failure at all. Not at all. Allow yourself to forgive. Release the energy. Release this person from any story that the mind is cranking out. Any judgment. Use your intuition, Sash. You know the truth deep inside your heart. Especially if you're on, if you're listening to my channel, you're on the, the path to enlightenment, awakening your consciousness, you understand that um, the universe works through people and their words and their actions to show you something. So try not to blame. Emotional withdrawal and fertility. So yeah, I feel like something happened where you pulled your energy back away from this person. There could have been conflict or just energy, like trickster energy that you intuitively knew, like, I'm not going to be a part of this. We're going to withdraw. You may not have been actually expressing your true feelings to this person because it didn't feel like it was going to be reciprocated. And most likely it wasn't. But now we're in some fertile energy, new moon energy. Things are shifting. Things are changing. So allow space for that growth, that expansion, that change within this dynamic. Don't close yourself off completely. Rest and rejuvenate. Yeah, so again, really strongly use your intuition towards forgiveness. Take some time to yourself um, through this new moon energy. Rest, relax, rejuvenate your energy. And maybe process some more things. I feel like you have some doubts about this person. Um, it's holding you from letting them back in. Even though you want to. You also don't want to replay or revisit the same old, same old. You may have already tried a few times and it just brought you right back to the same place. But you may already be realizing that that was a lesson with it. Self, moving on. Maybe you have plans to actually collaborate with this person to build something, an organization, a home, a business, 
something that um, you both would have been very successful in creating and reaping the benefits from. Now there's doubt. Now there's doubt that that will ever happen after whatever's gone on. Um, moving on. You are moving on from whatever energy went down. You're learning the lessons. You're moving out of the dark into the light. You're being guided back into living life in general. And that's the way to go. You know, just kind of clear your energy, clear your mind, free yourself from any kind of entanglement or entrapments or stories of the past. Give yourself a nice free, <laughs> clean, fresh, clean slate. Especially when it comes to this friendship. There is something potent here within this connection. And magical. Something you can't deny. Both parties had some healing. Both parties had some healing. Both parties have a little bit of an olive branch to um, give to the other as well. Both parties had split energy. Split consciousness. This is like the Jekyll and Hyde within. Reconciling those parts. Bringing it back to wholeness. Both of you were showing each other each other's shadow. Like playing out each other's shadow to each other. So you really were repelling each other at the same time. Yeah, that's changing. Death. Both are going through a massive transformation. Coming out of that cocoon. Transforming from the darkness into the light. It's not a pretty part of the journey, but it's beautiful when we get to the other side of it. Six of materials. Ten of voices, yeah. Both parties hit rock bottom. Both parties put an end to the pain. Put an end to the mental chatter that was causing a lot of pain. Uh, both parties know that you both have that power, that energy that creates worlds that you can combine together is amazing. You reflect back on that. You know that. Collaborate. There's still doubt because of this falling out, because of this separation of sorts. And maybe you're not fully separate, but you're not as connected as you once were. Things are still both healing. I don't see this as an ending though. You know, Ten of Voices can be a of ending. It's talking about ending a pattern of thought, beliefs. Those painful stories our minds tell us about ourselves and about another. Two of Pentacles. All right. And both are taking one step at a time towards each other, towards themselves and then each other. Two of Pentacles is typically that um, in the traditional tarot, the juggling of energies or in and out energies. But here it's reflecting, it's showing like, I got this pentacle and this pentacle. I'm gonna move one in front of the other, one foot in front of the other carefully moving forward.
there's a snake also speaks of transformation so while going through this change carefully putting one foot in front of the other using each stepping stone that's given to us to make the next move Four of Pentacles. Both may be stubborn, still kind of holding on to something. Could be pride. Could be ego. Could be status. The way you appear to others. Capricorn energy, wanting to be in charge. I want to be in charge. <laughs> you both might have very strong energy and strong wills and strong minds. And one wants to, both want to dominate. And that's another lesson in itself. Death. Again, another transformation and strength at the bottom. Strength here is talking about, uh, it can talk about ego, can talk about strong egos. It can also talk about having the strength to tame that with inside, that ego, that need to be in charge or the dominant energy. Yeah, something is transforming within both of you. The doubt is changing within both of you. All right, Sag, I'm gonna get one last message for you before I wrap this up. And as an energetic exchange, I will ask you, if you like this video, Sagittarius, please click that thumbs up like button for me, please. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Doing those two things really, truly, really, really, truly does help with the YouTube algorithms. Helps get the messages out to more people and also helps with the growth of the channel, which is truly grateful, gratefully appreciated. I appreciate every single one of you who has subscribed so far. Thank you very much. Warms my heart from the bottom of my heart. It truly does. Final messages for Sagittarius, please. Okay. We'll take them. Don't let your past hold you back, especially when it comes to those strong uh, ego minds. Work through your fears. There may be some fears creeping up, some doubt. Fear of like, if I give this another go, am I going to get burned again? And am I going to go through the same thing again? No, let go of that. Forgive. It was all meant for a lesson. Look at the bigger picture here. Stop focusing on, yeah, certain things happened. Th certain things were said. Certain things were done that were not cool, that didn't feel good. But um, in the end, there's great wisdom here. It's important to expand yourself and to look at the bigger picture here. The bigger picture meaning the world, life. You and this other person have big energy and combined can create big changes. So both of you need to get over yourselves, get over your ego and not let your past hold you back. Reconnect and create some powerful changes, not only for yourselves, but for others as well. That is the strong message that I get here this week for you, Sagittarius. So hopefully this was helpful for you and I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.